Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, so today is Friday. I had to turn this air on a little bit. And Jar is off. He would normally be off, but he's still, he's feeling much better since he um, started his steroids. When he started his steroids, his doctor told him to double up. So he did do double up. And I am going to, he ordered uh, subs and I'm just going to go pick them up. He's already like paid for it and such. So I'm going to pick that up. I want to pick my neighbor up cigars. Um, and, oh, I thought there was something else, but it might not be. I'm trying to get my home situated for when I have my surgery because it's like, I think like 18 days away or so. Um, I'm actually going to be washing down walls, getting everything done. So I've been very busy, but you know, they still don't have a car. They got the license. Jared's got the license. Um, Tasha's the next one working on hers. He is having a difficult time finding a minivan. And he goes, what's funny is years ago we had a BMW and he always wanted a BMW. And he goes, mom, now that I can afford my BMW, I'm shopping for a minivan. And I just laughed. I said, that's where it goes sometimes, son. So he said, well, eventually, after he gets his, like, van, minivan, and um, gets his house, then he goes, then I'll work on my BMW. But kids and family first. I was like, that's the way to go, son. So I'm so proud. Tasha worked earlier. She got done a little afternoon. So I had Everly for a while. And I just love spending time with my granddaughters. I just absolutely love it. Um, I have now held all my comments. And I'm sorry for review. I will, you know what I mean? I'll go through them. Everybody else, you know, you get approved right away. But I'm just holding them because the um, fake names are getting no more attention whatsoever. I'm done. Uh, what else? I think I'm going live tonight. I think if you guys, maybe I'll take a poll. Do you guys want me to go live and do the gyms um, last video? Because I believe right now they're traveling for their their cruise, which you would think normally um, Jerry Ann would put the traveling on, you know, or gym. But I don't know if they're really going to do that, guys. I kind of think that they're not going to. That's my thought and opinions. But I do think when Jim comes back, I do think he's going to have a lot to say about the cruise. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of dissatisfaction that they thought this and this was included. And you know what I mean? But everything's not for free. Yeah, it's inclusive kind of. But like if you go to a resort that is inclusive, you do pay more money. You fly there. Or whatever but uh your drinks usually you get your drinks and everything with a cruise they have certain things you can go on you know the decks where they have all the shops you can shop there they have jewelry they have tax-free alcohol tax a lot of tax-free actually on a cruise but like if you want to go to the casino or if you want to do this or that it's going to cost you money if you want a massage if you know, if you want to do certain things, it will cost extra money. And also, um, it was mentioned before how, you know, they take care of the beds and they do this and that. Yes, they do. But at the end of the cruise, they expect an envelope, a tip. Like, they don't make a lot of money on the cruises. And they live on those cruises and they send money home to their families. So I just hope, I hope that they tip well. And I'm not talking about Jerry and his family. I'm talking about Jim and Jerry. You know? Also, if anyone in Jerry's family would like to reach out to me and let me know, like, you guys have told her to play the cancer card. You don't tell a stage four cancer patient to play a cancer card. That's, like, sadistic. That's just, like, really? So, 
I'm like, I'm ready. I'm ready for this all then. I'm ready to move on to better, bigger things. I'm ready to... There's a couple other channels that I want to look into. And, uh... So, I think I'm going to start working on another one, too. Just to see what you guys think. And, I mean, and I know a lot of people, you know, like certain, you know, um... How do I say it? Certain influencers. But, like... If... If their cancer journey isn't real or their cancer journey has been over 10 years, I don't know, guys. That's something I would like to uh, bring up and discuss and do some things. And then there's a couple of uh, channels that, like, they've changed so much. They, like, I don't know. Wow, this is packed. Um, they've changed so much and they're so different from where they started and personality wise and I think it I think what I'm talking about is Crafty Girl. I don't know if you guys I used to watch her all the time and then everything has changed. But let me run in here and then I'll keep running my mouth. All right, that's all picked up. So now I've got to go and get the neighbors some cigars he quit smoking cigarettes so I don't think you inhale cigars I'm not sure I, I so love my backup mirror guys like I wish they had these years ago um so yes I am thinking about going live tonight um and we could sit and chit chat and have a good talk. It's just funny that for, I don't know, since I really came over to my other channel, I've really had no negativity. And then all of a sudden, the negativity starts. So, a little, a little odd, but that's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm used to it. I'm becoming numb to what is being said what photos are being used because I've been praying I've been praying that karma haunts you every night I'm praying now that karma haunts you is that a good prayer no no but I do I do speak to family members and people don't believe me when I say this some people do some people don't but you're gonna be haunted and when you do, I hope you're scared shitless. I'll be back. All right. So I have, like I said, I've been being prepared. I, uh, I keep getting like texts and uh, uh, emails from my orthopedic about physical therapy. They were having it where I was going to be going there. And I don't want it there because it's a half hour drive there, a half hour drive back home. And we have physical therapy right over here. So I'm gonna get, they're gonna mail the RX to me. And then next week I'll bring the RX in. I'm gonna start a little physical therapy prior to the knee replacement. Um, and then they were sending me messages about uh, to pick up some medical supplies. I already have the walker from when I had my hip done and I knew that my knee was getting, I know my other hips and knee is getting done too. So that's why I've held on to my walker. Um, also it's called a leg lift, like it's blue and you can hook your foot on it and lift your leg and such. I already have that. I already have a toilet seat riser. So I'm all good there. I have to get what is called a, um, it's a, like an ice machine and I have to get it with the knee sleeve so it can go on my knee, you know what I mean? And pump the cold. Um, I did have it for my hip, but that was something that I rented. So now I'm going to go to, um, we do have a medical supply actually about uh, 10 miles away. So I'm going to get in contact and see if I can get that machine going. Um, if I need a prescription for it for reimbursement, I'm going to find all that out. So this way I can get that all taken care of. I want all, everything that I need. 
I want it already home, already set up in my bedroom. Um, the night before surgery, I have to leave, I think at like four o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna um, do the fresh linens on my bed. I'll have them pulled out. Like I'm one of those people that I have to prepare. I have to be ready for it. Um, it just helps my mind be at ease knowing that, okay, I'm set up at home. Maybe this is why a lot of times after my surgeries, I'm boom, I'm out and I'm home. Um, they did say if I got out and I walked and, um, cause I have to have it done at the hospital. My insurance will not cover the one day surgery center. Um, because if anything happens, they like it to be in a hospital setting. But the doctor did say if I can get up and walk, which I normally do right after surgery, because I always have to use the restroom. And um, if I can climb up four stairs and down four stairs by using the railing, which I have no stairs at home. I do have stairs to get in the house too. Um, if I could do that, I'll be released the same day. So in me, I like to be home, I like to be you know, I really don't have to rush home because of like Amelia or Everly, but Amelia knows Nana is getting surgery. And yesterday when I was fixing the curtains by the air conditioner, my finger got sliced and Amelia was over visiting. Oh my goodness, she was, Nana, you okay? She's such a worrisome little girl. Like I felt bad and I said like, look, Nana's fine. I took paper towel and I pressed it and it stopped bleeding. She goes, how'd you do that? I said, well, you don't let Nana, if you fall down and scrape your knee, you don't let Nana touch it. But I told you, if you press it, it'll help it stop bleeding. And, and she's never had anything that's more like than a couple of dots from a little scratch. And she said, oh, okay. So when she sees that, she goes, when I get a boo-boo, will you do that to me? Absolutely. Um, so coming up, um, there is going to be my knee replacement journey. I will show all I can. I'm going to talk to my doctor when I go to my visit. I believe it's the 25th and talk to him about recording and what's going to go on and what's going to transpire. And I'll just tell him I'd love to have the surgery. Um, and I know people, some people can't watch that type of surgery. So I might do, if he can record it or give me the recording, I would love to share it, but we'll see. So let me stop in here and then Duncan and then back dropping them off their stuff. Then going by my neighbors, dropping his stuff off and going home and getting prepared. I'll be back. All right. Um, trying to think out what else there. There's everything in my mind and it is written down at home on paper. Oh, that's a big truck. I couldn't get through um, that. I want to do that. I need to do. <clears throat> and everything will work out great. I'm gonna make sure I find my, I have to make sure I have my big sweatpants and I'm actually, <laughs> I'm gonna probably take the ones from Timu that I wore because they're lightweight, they are big, they are stretchy and they are just comfortable. And I call it my pig suit. Um, that's because my niece, when you wear all gray and it's like an oversized like sweatsuit type thing, she has called it a pig suit for I don't know how long. And I'll never forget the one time she came over for a visit prior to me moving to Florida. And I had my son's old gray sweatpants on and a, oh, an oversized gray t-shirt of my son's, uh, my son that passed away. And uh, she said, Aunt D, why do you have a pig suit on? I'm like, what? What are you talking about? And then she explained it. I said, you're too funny. I just love you, Kimmy. That's my niece's name, so. I'm um, gonna order me a coffee and then drop off Jay's, Tasha's. Oh, and FYI, I got fried cheese curds, oink, oink. The reason why I'm trying to eat higher calorie right now is after surgery, I always lose about 10 pounds, 10 to 15. And my doctor wants me to try to get up to about 145 to 150. So, I'm almost at 145, so oink, oink, I'm going to keep eating. Sounds bad, right? How can I help you? Hi, can I please get a large iced coffee with the vanilla shots?
with four Splenda in regular cream. Absolutely, anything else? That is it. Four and nine, madam. Thanks so much. You're welcome. All right, so I'm gonna have to use my um, app right now. And the coffee will give me a little boost. Here we go. Yay. Um, I told my son, I was like, because he'll have my car, I'm not. You know, if he doesn't have one at that point, he can use my car, well, you know, because of surgery and such. I said, honey, you gonna get mom a coffee? Um, Tasha and the girls, and I'm sure JR, will stay at the house. JR won't be there overnight, but I don't know, he'll probably, he'd probably be at home because he sleeps during the day. But I told Tasha, you don't have to spend the night, honey, because, you know, I usually am one, like, I've been getting nine hours of sleep. It feels great. I haven't been letting anything of uh, YouTube stress me out. Everything is in God's hands. Everything. All my stresses and all, just anything is in God's hands. And, and what I can't get through, he will carry me through. You know what I'm saying? So I'm back on back where I was and it feels great um, so I, I did let her know I said honey the probably the only time that I really need help is during the day at night I'll be sleeping and you know even at night she would be sleeping as well so if I have to get up and use the restroom I can get up and use the restroom the great thing is we have the um, uh, the digital assistant as a drop-in as well so like say she didn't hear her phone or whatever she has the um the electronical whatever digital assistance it's right by her bed because the girl's bedroom has a camera and she keeps that there so she can hear um you know the girls so i could drop in and she would hear me so that's a good thing i said and besides that sweetie i said when i had my hip replacement I said, I did very well. I came home the same day because the next day was Amelia's first birthday. I said, you've seen me. She goes, I know, I know, but you shouldn't have had to do that. Um, we were not in the right state of mind, and, and I get that. But I said, if I need you, and I'm going to be honest, they live very close by. That's all I'm going to tell you. So, um, but I'm almost there, and I'm not putting it on camera, so... You know me, guys. I'll be back, and I'll be live tonight. Bye-bye.